Welcome to the ICT department. Here we offer two courses at GCSE level, both of which will allow you to build on the skills you have acquired and developed in the ICT class over the last few years. The courses are GCSE Digital Technology and GCSE Computing. These courses vary in their content and how they are examined, which will be outlined in the following slides. Firstly, GCSE Digital Technology. This course is offered by SIA, and whilst there are two routes of study within the course, here at the CBS we offer only the multimedia option. This is because we also offer the GCSE in Computing, where pupils get the opportunity to further develop their programming skills. The course is comprised of three units. Unit 1, Digital Technology. In this unit, Students explore a range of digital technologies available for data storage, manipulation, presentation and so on. Pupils will sit an exam in this unit at the end of year 11 and it will be worth 30% of the GCSE. In year 12, pupils will study units 2 and 3. Unit 2 is digital authoring concepts, where pupils will gain an understanding of the concepts in the development of all digital systems. This theory is closely linked to the coursework and will be examined in a one and a half hour exam in year 12. This exam is worth 40%. Finally, unit three is digital authoring practice. This is the coursework element and pupils will be expected to design, develop and test a relational database and website based on a case study that will be released by SIA. This coursework is worth 30% of the course and will be submitted at the end of year 12. In studying this course, pupils will acquire and develop a multitude of skills. These will include the ability to investigate and analyse problems, gain an understanding of the software system development process and be able to illustrate this through the design of effective software solutions, which they will also be able to test, implement and evaluate. This in turn will render them competent users of ICT. The second course we offer is GCSE Computing, which is provided by OCR. As this is an English board exam, pupils will be awarded levels 1 to 9, which is comparable to the grades offered in the Northern Ireland GCSE system. This course has two units, which will be studied over the two years. Firstly, Unit 1, Computer Systems, which focuses on general computing theory, such as systems architecture, memory, storage, and so on. The second unit, is computational thinking, algorithms and programming, where pupils will learn to write algorithms, they will learn basic Python syntax and learn how to write simple programs and be able to debug them. The course will be a mixture of Unit 1 and Unit 2 throughout years 11 and 12. Both exams will be taken at the end of year 12 and boys will have a chance to start programming after the first few weeks in year 11. There is also a programming project to complete in Year 12, but this does not form part of the assessment anymore. There is a huge emphasis on the programming in this course. You will learn to code using Python version 3, a powerful free language that is fast becoming an industry standard. You will have weekly practical sessions where you get hands-on and have a chance to develop your programming skills and learn to code. You will be expected to have access to a desktop or a laptop and install the free Python software so you can work at home and continue to practice your skills outside the classroom. Python is widely used and there are lots of online tutorials for support. In studying this course, pupils will acquire and develop a multitude of skills, including logical thinking, you will learn how to break a problem down into steps and then build a solution step by step. Concentration and focus. All languages need to be written exactly so that the compiler can understand what they are trying to do. And probably the most important skill to become an independent learner. This skill is crucial for software development as there's never only one way to solve a problem and nobody can remember all of the rules of any one language. This course is the start of a journey 
that will enable you to build a toolkit and the transferable skills that will allow you to learn any other programming language. So, would GCSE computing suit you? Well, here's a few points to consider. If you're interested in a career in the massive growth area of software development, then this is a course for you. You must be prepared to work hard. You may struggle a little at first, but this will be overcome with practice. Programming takes a lot of application. It is about thinking, understanding and being switched on in class. If you do not apply yourself, then this course will confuse you immensely and you will not enjoy it. To be eligible for the course, you must attain a high level in mathematics in year 10. And finally, why not download Python and give it a try yourself to see if you would enjoy it? Both courses provide an opportunity to enter a wide ranging variety of career areas. These career areas include computer programming, project management, website design, game software development, and also opportunities to become business analysts and network technicians. The courses will provide entry to study the following courses we offer here at Post 16. A-level Digital Technology, A-level Software Systems Development, and IT Technicals Level 3 Subsidiary Diploma. And finally, why study an IT-related course? Well, IT permeates all aspects of our lives. In a world of constant technological innovation, there is a demand for people who have the digital skills to refine and apply new developments to the real world. The qualifications we offer are a direct response to the call for digital skills and digital makers. Remember, it is important to consider carefully your skills, aptitude and capabilities in choosing the course which best suits you. Also, I would encourage you to ask your ICT teacher for help in selecting the course which is right for you.